Hey y'all, it's a Thrifty Southerner, back again for another Thrifty Thursday haul. Hope y'all have all had a great couple of weeks. I'm sorry that it has been a few weeks since I have filmed a uh, Thrifty Thursday video, but I do have some good things to show you guys today. I just haven't had much. Um, one of the Thursdays, I think we were out of town. Oh yeah, we went to um, Six Flags for my daughter. They have a homeschool day, and so... We missed that one, and then last week, I just didn't have enough stuff, so I've got some stuff this week, and I'm glad to be back. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any makeup on today, but I do have clean hair. I just took a shower, um, but uh, yeah, Thursdays when we don't have co-op are hangout days um, where we stay at home. I work in the garden, and so I just actually took a shower, and I'm not putting on any makeup, <laughs> so before I get started, thank you so, so much for watching. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you. And if you are new to the channel, I would love to have you as a subscriber. Guys, if you're not getting my notifications, go to your notifications on this one, ring the bell, but make sure that you click all. I think it's called, there's like a customize and then all. Push all, because I know for me, I am not getting half of the notifications of the people that I subscribe to. And it's quite annoying because I'll check there, you know, I'll think, oh, I haven't seen anything from them in a while and check in, you know, they've got three videos up and I never got a notification. So anyway, ramble over. Love you guys. Glad to be back. Let's get started. But before I do, if you are interested in any of the items that I am selling, you can join my Facebook group. I will link it in the description box below. It is a closed group. You will have to ask to join. I will approve you. Then you may ask about an item. Please tell me your shit, your, your shade. Please tell me your state so I can give you a quote on the shipping or tell you how much shipping is going to be for the item. Uh, first person to give me their email address gets a PayPal invoice and uh, they'll have an hour to pay. After that, it'll go to the next person if it's something that several people want. If you are not a Facebooker, you can email me. I will also leave that in the description box below. Uh, let's get started with the things I am keeping for myself and or my family. Okay. First off are some things for my daughter. This is a Webkins uh, Adopt-A-Pet. These, I don't think they make these anymore. And this one is lamb. Some of these are worth a lot if they still have this little tag on them. I haven't looked this one up yet, but I doubt she would let me sell it anyway. Uh, next is this Squishmallow, which she's addicted to these things. And she has like probably 50, maybe not that many, but a lot. And this one is also a Squishmallow octopus. And I also got her this. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to put it in the dishwasher on sanitize. But it is a really nice... I have a bunch of these manas. Mine are bigger. I have the couple of 40 ounces. I try to drink two a day. But um, pretty cool. And it actually doesn't look like it's been used. But I will sanitize it nevertheless and that's good because we went and got our nails done the other day in a different city and she left one of our water bottles there so that'll take the place of that one nextly we got these kicker boot cuts she has not tried these on yet but anytime i see a double zero blue jean i will purchase it for her oh I didn't look at these. I got them. I actually had checked out at the thrift store and I saw them and I grabbed them and they have a hole in the butt. But it's not big, so it might still be all right. I feel like I look ugh, without makeup on. Nextly, this is so this is crazy. Story time. My daughter has a really good friend, and her really good friend has got this Instax mini link, so it hooks remotely to your phone, and then you can take pictures with your phone and then print them out. I feel like my shoulder's like way up here. Um, print them out, get down there, shoulder, um, on these little like Polaroid, like mini Polaroid type pictures. So her friend took a picture of one of our dogs while she was here spending the night, gave it to her. Long story short, she asked for this thing for Christmas. I looked it up and obviously like next Christmas and what is May right now. Um, and it's $99. So I was like, that's fine. That'll be your big gift. And then a week later, literally, we found one. 
Isn't that cool? It says it doesn't have the USB cable, but the thrift store actually said this was theirs, and they, I don't know what they were using it for, but that it worked, but it didn't have the cable. So we got it for $22.75. It takes a mini USB. I've got those all over the place. So exciting. Those are the best when you literally, like it's exciting to find things for resale, but it's really exciting when you find things that you wanted or that someone in your family wanted and you get to save money on them. Okay, these are just a pair of linen shorts that I got for myself. And... This is very pretty. This is a available by Angela Fashion. This is for my daughter. She picked this out and she usually does not like dresses. And this is like super feminine. So I was like, I will get that for you. This is a dress I got for myself. It is really hot here already. So this is just a little a little dress it's got pockets it's a gap I think no Liz Claiborne got these I don't believe I've tried them on but they're a large so I'm hoping they will fit me they're just some blue jean shorts I got this I'm gonna try it on if I don't keep it I'm gonna sell it um, it is a Madewell eyelet I don't know. I don't know if those sleeves are me or not. I'm going to try it on. I also, sometimes I have a large uh, rib cage, and sometimes through here, things don't fit me, especially things that button. So we'll see. Um, but anyway, if I don't keep it, I'm going to sell it. <laughs> Next is My Hero Academia. This is for my daughter. She's a huge My Hero Academia fan. So she was excited I noticed that. I picked this up like, I don't know. We do a lot of read alouds. Um, my daughter reads to me. I've got three different books I'm reading to her right now. And then a lot of them or most of them are historically based. And so then we will look up whatever we're interested in or whatever they're talking about. And this one's called The Ma the Measure of Katie Calloway. Usually we read biographies, but this one is about the Civil War ending. And it's, so it's like a um, historical fiction. But I thought it might be something good to read to her or with her. And then we, you know, talk more about the Civil War and life after the Civil War. I don't know. I don't even know if it's age appropriate. I just picked it up at a garage sale and I've literally not looked at it again. So, I'll have to do more research. If it's like a romance novel, I don't think we'll be reading it together. Okay, this is another thing that was so exciting because I wanted this. It's, it was actually in my Amazon cart. And I found one. It is a super defrosting tray. So, supposedly, this will quick defrost your meat. I cannot tell you guys, several times in the last few months, I have taken things out in the morning, put them in the sink to uh, thaw, and then left the house for the afternoon, forgotten to put them back in the fridge, and I've actually gotten home to, like, lukewarm room temp meat that I had to throw away. One time I was like, it was beef, and I was like, I'm cooking it. But then it happened with chicken, and I was like, I'm not messing with chicken. So anyway... Hopefully this will defrost, because it's like I go in the afternoon and then I'm not home in time to thaw it then, so I have to thaw it in the morning. But anyway, y'all get it. And so hopefully this will help. I think I paid five and the one in my Amazon cart was 15, so I saved a few bucks. Again, another pair of uh, shorts for me. I like blue jean shorts in the summertime. Okay, that's all of our stuff. Let's, let me show you what I bought for resale. So this is kind of random, but um, it's some of the things that, that sell well on eBay. It is a replacement uh, filter, water filter. So it works with Whirlpool Maytag, Amana, Janair, KitchenAid. It is certified to reduce a 73 contaminants. You know what? I wonder if this is, a, we need a new filter. Uh, I might see if my husband 
thinks this is the right size for us. If it's not, I paid $6.99 for it, and they sell for about $33 on eBay, So, and it should be a quick sale. I think there were 170-something listed, and 500-something had sold in the last 90 days. So, quick, quick sell-through rate. This, I've got to ask my husband if he wants. I forgot to ask him, but likely it's going to be too thick for him. Um, but it's really beautiful. Tooled leather, Celtic knot, card holder. No markings as far as maker, but really, really beautiful. Reminds me of a lot of the stuff we saw when we were in Ireland and Scotland. Nextly. I feel like this should have come off. I cleaned it. I think I can get that off. Okay, this is a vintage, see that? That's like crust, something crusty. I cleaned it with, uh, or I, I conditioned it with leather conditioner, but that didn't come off, but I think it will. It is a older Dooney wallet. It is, you know, a little worn. It's got a little dirt um, or a little discoloration because I did clean it. Um, some darkness here. You know, it's a vintage item. I mean, it's probably from the early 90s. Got the Dooney thing. Got your checkbook holder. That's how you know it's old. Who carries, who still carries their checkbook? No. I have a checkbook, but it does not go in my wallet. So that is that. See, some darkening on the corners, that kind of thing. I mean, that's, I mean, again, it's a 20-something-year-old wallet. No, it's like 30, almost, probably almost 30-year-old wallet. <laughs> that makes me feel old, y'all. Okay. Nextly is this Tano purse. I like this brand, very soft leather. It reminds me of hobo leather. It's very soft. Um... I feel like it might be faded a little bit, but it's that way on both sides. So I think maybe it's just the difference in, see it's not even noticeable on camera. It's barely noticeable here. You know what? Let me see. Like this half looks just like slightly lighter right there. Again, I always like to disclose everything because I don't want someone to get something that they didn't know what they were getting. Um, it's not noticeable. Like if you were wearing this, no one's going to look at that and be like, oh, one side of her purse is lighter than the other. It was probably where someone's arm rubbed up against it. Um, but it's not noticeable at all. It's a beautiful purse. Like I said, it's that hobo -y type leather that you have to condition frequently. Um, beautiful bag somewhere on the bottom. Some darkening. This next thing I just got yesterday, and it needs to get thrown in the washing machine because it's dirty. Someone used it, and I mean, maybe that's what it's for. I don't know. Someone used it as a toiletry bag, but it is a fossil keeper bag. I've never seen one like this. I think it's super cute, um, and it would make, I mean, it makes a great, maybe it is a toiletry bag because it does have a bunch of pockets. With, see the powder? It smells good, though. So you've got all those pockets on the side and then the bottom and then two pockets. It will get thrown in the wash um, and air dried and it should be good as new. Super cute with the little bird cages. This guy I paid up for, paid $15, but um, the last B. Mikowski I sold online got a lot of interest and sold pretty quickly. So this one's beautiful. It's in such good condition. We've got the turn lock comes out the inside this is a newer bag because it's got that newer um, lighter color of leopard I think that's what that means anyway y'all correct me if I'm wrong got all these pockets zippers on the side you've got a cell phone pocket or some other kind of pocket in the back I would put my cell phone in there and it's a great crossbody um, it is not adjustable well that's not true you could double it. You can put it through and then double it up over here, I would assume. Let's see. Yeah, it could be like a 
short bag. That's cute. But it, as far as being a crossbody, it's not adjustable. It looks brand new, y'all. It does not look like it's been used at all. Um, let me tell you how far it comes down as a crossbody. Okay, so it's long on me. I am only 5'2", so on a taller person, it would probably be the perfect crossbody length. Or you could double it up like I just showed you and make it a um, shoulder bag. Super cute. Told y'all I had a lot of purses. I got a lot, well, I didn't say that, but I have a lot of purses today. This is an Elliot Luca. Beautiful, beautiful. Woven. Reminds me of Bottega Veneta with the basket weave. Got your tag. This, again, also looks like it's barely been used. Look at the cute little knots. And here's the interior. I love how he does that pink pop on here and here. So pretty. That's that. That's also a crossbody. Let me see. Yeah, this one's a good length too. It hits me at my hip, like lower hip. So someone a little taller would be great for them. This can also be crossed over and uh, made like Mm, no, it can't because you can't, you're not going to be able to feed that through. It, they can be taken off though and it can be used as, as a clutch. So, beautiful. It's like a creamy off-white. It's not white. Okay, this is a vintage Brighton. I don't know if anyone will be interested in this, but I couldn't pass it up because it was in such stellar condition. And sometimes these older Brightons will sell well. Very well made. I mean very very well made really pretty little shoulder bag this you guys i was so excited and if i still use these big huge bags like this but i have i think i've mentioned i've been using crossbodies um this is so pretty for fall oh my god and winter it's like an eggplanty brownie purple it is a coach here's your coach tag Look at the, that's oh, so pretty, the tassel. Look at this. Look how that's like, that's put, that should be right there. So look at how they have that leather so it doesn't mark up the uh, metal. Oh my God, this is a gorgeous. Uh, the interior is this beautiful color. Oh my God, so pretty. It is a factory bag. It's an F, so it is a factory bag, but it is gorgeous, and I do not see any skimping on quality. Look at the sides of this with these rolled edges. No, this is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So beautiful. Okay. Last purse, and then I got two pieces of jewelry, is this little born very cute it's like a it's coming off gray i guess it's gray it's got a hint of like blue or purple to it but yeah it's gray it's coming off pretty accurately on camera i love the stitching at the bottom it's just a cute little crossbody it is adjustable so it can go very long it can be a shoulder bag it can be a crossbody you've got your back pocket here i'm trying to hurry because i feel like it's my video is getting long born Side. This again looks, yeah, it smells new. It looks new. So super cute. That is that. Lastly, I've got two pieces of jewelry. These are marked 925 Nepal and they are gorgeous. They are, my guess would be that they are lapis, lapis lazuli and pearl. Really pretty. Again, sterling silver, made in Nepal. Super, super pretty. There's a little hook. So those. And then we've got these guys. So these are pieces of Native American. 
jewelry. They are marked Velasquez, J. Velasquez Senal. So I looked that up and that is a collaboration between a jewelry designer and a jewelry, I guess, maker. I, I thought most jewelry makers were also jewelry designers, but anyway, it's a collab between two and apparently their stuff is pretty popular. These are very interesting. They're hoops, but they're, they're like that. So your ear sits in between and it looks like it would squeeze your ear, but it doesn't because I tried them on. Because I cleaned them and I tried them on. I was like, this is weird. Are they bent? Are they supposed to be that way? I'm 95.78% sure that they're supposed to be this way. Because they're both exactly the same. They're, yeah, they're supposed. And also, bending this would have messed up. Like, you can tell by the way that's bent. That it that's how it's supposed to be. They're just really, really unique and really beautiful. So... Let's see if I can show you how they look on the ear. A little tricky to get on. And this one I lost the back to. But I will find one should you want them. So they're really interesting. Can you, can you see what they look like? I hope it's not falling out without the back on it. They're really neat. Alright. That is that. They're tricky to get off though because you got to get your lobe out from in between all right that's it you guys i hope you enjoyed it i hope you all have a wonderful day i do not know if i'll have a video next week it will just depend on how much um shopping i get done i will not be going to garage sales this weekend because we are going camping with my in-laws so that won't happen but i might be able to get some thrift store shopping done next week it just depends on what's going on I've been really, really into my garden and working on our chicken coop so we can get our chickens. So I have to admit that my focus has not been on thrifting lately and I need to make sure that that is still a priority because I enjoy it. Anyway, all that said, thank you, thank you so much for watching and until next time, I'll keep it thrifty.